Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be showing my iBook G3. I believe this is called a Snow iBook. So before I turn it on, I'm going to go over the uh, hardware on this computer. So we have a 12-inch uh, display, of course, keyboard, mouse, speakers, if those are, yeah, those are in the frame. And then on the side here we have a tray loading optical drive and the power in. On the front, nothing, not even an IR sensor or anything. And on the side here we have Kensington Lock modem 10100 Ethernet, I believe, Firewire 400 USB, and Mini VGA, I believe, and also an audio. Uh, I believe that is audio out. It's not one of those combo ports or anything. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. This computer is a 600 megahertz, I believe, with uh, not sure how much RAM is in here. I think 128 meg is what it said on the uh, thing under the keyboard. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on. And that is why I haven't made a video on it yet. So it has RAM issues, as you can see it doesn't recognize the RAM. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on in this video. So I've been told to remove the RAM under the keyboard, so I guess we'll start with that. So I tried to get a bit of a better view there as my screwdrivers go rolling everywhere. So I believe if I, I have to turn this once and that, then I pull these tabs and, or maybe it's just half a turn. Yeah, half a turn. Okay, so I'll just fold the keyboard down because I need to get under there to remove the cable anyway. And then I kind of have trouble with these uh, as I grab my screwdriver, but realize that's probably not the best idea to like pry it open. But this is, uh, there we go. I'm gonna pull that out. I kind of memorized the iFixit guide a little bit here just so I would know what I'm doing without having to go through that thing on video. So two screws, that's pretty good. And look at that, we don't have any RAM installed anyway. So once again, it's a 128 meg internal memory thing. So I actually have, uh, yes, I think this will work. I kind of laid out some of the RAM, maybe if I replaced it, you know, I figured what that can just pop in there and look at that that works really well and that is also 128 meg so it kind of lines up perfectly there so um, if I try to put the shield thing here back on because it's kind of hard to do that when I can't see because the camera's in the way I believe that's it and then I'm going to just put the remaining screws in, even though remaining isn't the right word at all to use. So anyway, the story behind this is I got it from my friend for $20, I think. Maybe $40, i am not sure. But this was uh, many months ago, almost nine months ago I got this. And her sister was using it pretty much up until a point I got it. So... You know, that's impressive, using a G3 in 2015, or 2017. That's uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, RAM installed, that's easy. So I guess we can see if it works now as I move the camera to get a better view of the screen. I'm gonna plug in the power. And so the computer is making hard drive noises. That's a good sign. No beeping yet. There we go. Awesome. So we have an operating system on here too. I don't think this is Tiger. Doesn't look like Tiger. At least from what I can see. So, uh, yeah. Verix 7.2 looks like a 
sort of antivirus program. Yeah, McAfee security right there. So that, so about this Mac is, oh wait, these computers don't have the two finger scrolling. So I guess I'll just use two finger zoom in on the iPhone there. So you can see 600 megahertz G3 and 128 megs of RAM along with version 10.3.9 of Mac OS X. So that's pretty cool. If we go to more info, we can see there is a PowerPC 750 processor running at 600 megahertz. We've been over this a couple times. Yeah, it thinks the built-in RAM is empty. That's interesting. So, yeah, and then we have a ATI, I think, is in here. Yeah, AT, well, ATY RAID Gemma 3, so that's pretty cool. The display on here is 1024 by 768. And then we have a 30 gig drive in here, along with the optical drive, SCSI, nothing, USB, the two things, and then FireWire. And then we, have, we do have an airport card in here, as you saw, so I kind of connect to the internet on here. We also have a modem, of course. I kind of talked about that earlier, and then this is just the software, so I can get rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my network here. I believe it's WAP2, which is not on here, so... Yep, can't connect. That's a shame. Uh, let's see, do I have an Ethernet cable? I do. Am I even? Yeah, I have 10 to 100 speed on the Switch. Let's go to YouTube. Oh, huh. Safari can't open the page, google.com, blah, 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 because it can't find the server. So yeah, it doesn't look like it really is feeling like working. So, okay. That's going to be it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.